hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to control servo motor angle using the luckfox pico mini b rb1103 linux micro development board okay so here on the camera you can see i have luckfox pico mini b running build root operating system and here i have the servo motor i want to control the angle of this servo motor using luckfox pico mini b then how we can do that so that thing we are going to cover in this video so to control the servo motor angle using pwm first of all we have to enable the pwm pins in the luckfox pico mini b so we will see how we can enable that and how we can use python program to control the servo motor angle so first of all it is running the build root operating system so i'm going to log into the terminal of our luckfox pico mini b so let me connect the board with my system okay so board is connected now we will open the command prompt and uh, we know that our board is running build root operating system so we can use this ssh command to log into the terminal of our luckfox pico mini b so i'll paste that command here and here is the password and here you can see we are inside the luckfox pico mini b now here i have provided one command okay so yeah here you can use this command to check if any pin is enabled for the pwm or not so i can copy this command and i can paste it and i can run it so here you can see we don't have any outputs okay or there is no files and folder inside this uh, path so there is no pin enabled for the pwm of our luckfox pico mini b now we have to enable one pin then how we can enable it and the question is which pin we have to enable so if you can see on the camera we have to enable this pin okay where my blue cable is connected for the pwm to provide signal to our servo motor and my servo motor uh, positive is connected to the vbus ground is connected to the ground and orange is connected to the signal which is blue cable okay so we want to enable this pin for the pwm and here you can see the signal of servo motor is connected to the pin number 16 or you can say gpio number 54 okay and in the terminology of luckfox pico mini b we call it as pwm 10 underscore m1 now this pin support the pwm operation but we have to enable the pwm operation for this pin then how we can enable it so you have to use this command luckfox config okay so you have to paste that command after login to the terminal of your luckfox board so once you run this command you have to go to the advanced option okay inside the advanced option you will have the list so we have to control the servo motor angle using pwm so we will go to the first option pwm okay and here is the list of pin okay which is supporting pwm operation but here you can see we have connected the signal cable on the pwm 10 underscore m1 so we want to enable this pin for the pwm operation so here i can search for the same pin pwm 10 underscore m1 okay so here you can see now we will hit enter on this pin and we will enable the pwm operation okay it is enabled now again i can go to the pwm and here you can see the star okay uh, beside that pin name so it means that this pin is enabled for the pwm operation now i can click on escape again one more time escape again and i am into the terminal now i can run that command okay same command to check the uh, enable pin for the pwm and here you can see we have one pin enabled for the pwm i can use the same command pwm chip 10 and here is more detail okay inside that folder about this pin now one pin is enabled for the pwm now we will be able to control the angle of the servo motor connected with our luckfox pico mini b board okay for that i have already created the python program so you can copy the python program you can go to your terminal of luckfox pico mini b you can type nano servo control.py okay so we are going to create one program 
okay servo control dot py and we'll paste that entire code here we'll press ctrl x then y to save it okay now we will use python 3 to control the servo angle okay so till now what i have done i hope that's clear to you so we have connected our servo motor with the luckbox pico mini b using uh, this fashion okay vbus is connected to the positive of the servo motor ground is connected to the ground pin of the servo motor and signal is connected to the 16th pin or you can say 54 gpio pin of the luckbox pico mini b and uh, which is pwm10 underscore m1 and we have already enabled that okay so here you can see pwm chip 10 is already enabled we have already created our servo control dot py program after that okay and the program is available here you can understand the program as per your understanding or you can ask chat gpt to explain this program okay now what we can do is we can use python 3 to run that program servo control dot py okay let me minimize the rest of the thing okay now here you have to provide the servo angle so first of all i'll provide the angle zero you can see servo change to angle zero now we will provide the angle 180 and here you can see and then 90 45 135 25 angle 3 okay so this is how you can control the servo motor using luckbox pico mini b using python and periphery library okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can control the servo motor using luckbox pico mini b this is the connection diagram okay you can connect ground here or here anything is fine okay doesn't matter and you have to enable this pin for pwm operation now again i can you know Control the any angle 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 180. Okay, so we'll press Control C to stop the program. Okay, and uh, I hope this is clear. And if you still have any question or any doubt, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. And using this method, you can also control the servo motor from luckfox pico pro max board and luckfox pico ultra w board okay so we'll also cover the video for that that how you can control the servo motor using luckfox pico pro max and luckfox pico ultra w board if you have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can comment on this video okay and if you need the code then the code is here this is the command to check the pin which is enabled for pwm okay and here is the command to enable the pin for the pwm now i can disable the pin for the pwm so again i can run that command luckfox config advanced option pwm and i can select that pin and i can disable okay now here you can see the star is not available on that pin so the pin is disabled for the pwm operation okay and again i can run the ls command to check which pin is enabled for the pwm so right now there is no pin enabled for the pwm and even if i run my python servo control uh, program okay then here you can see there is error because that pin is not found okay for the pwm operation so i hope entire process is clear to you now let's meet in the future videos okay till then take care goodbye and thank you